Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv, and today we have the official Pokemon Go Halloween event available for people all over the world, starting from October 26th and going all the way through to November 1st. Seeing as this is a Halloween event, we do get double the candies, guys, for catching, transferring, and hatching Pokemon. So instead of the original three candies for catching Pokemon, we now get six candies. When we transfer Pokemon, instead of the one candy, we get two candies. And when you are hatching eggs, you will get double the candies as well. I love a few of the aesthetic changes that... Niantic have implemented in this update here. So now we actually have patterns on the eggs to basically let us know what the egg is. So for a green speckled egg, you get the 2k. Uh, for the orange, you get 5k. And purple is the 10k. So now when you actually spin a Pokestop and you see a purple egg drop down, you know that that's a 10k. So that's a simple little change that has actually changed the way that I guess we interact with eggs now, which is really nice. Um, we also have this really cool feature now or functionality where if you slide your finger down from the middle of the screen, uh, you'll see an X appear, you release it, and it will actually close down that screen and take you back to the previous screen or take you back to the map, depending on where you are. So this is just a functionality thing. It improves with, I guess, fast interaction. If you see a Pokemon or if you feel the vibration of a Pokemon, you can quickly drag down and go straight back to the map. So these two features are really nice. Uh, they were needed from the beginning, but again, some nice little features from Niantic. They have also added the icon types to Pokemon. So now you actually get a little emblem to display whether it's a grass type, a psychic type, an ice type, or whatever else. So that's a nice little interface update, and it goes alongside the uh, award system or the achievement system because they have really nice icons over there now. So they've kind of just pulled it over to all of the Pokemon. So now you know exactly what type of Pokemon it is just at a glance. This event is also bringing along increased spooky spawns. So now we're going to get more Ghastly, Cubone, Drowsy, Zubat, Meowth, Haunter, Marowak, Hypno, Golbat, Persian, and Gengar. So some really awesome Pokemon here. Some of my favorite ghost types. Um, I do love Gengar. I've got a um, few Gengars now, which I'm really happy about. Hypno is a really cool Pokemon as well. And um, the others I'm not too happy with, but increased spawns with increased candies is always good, guys. So it's interesting to go around my area and actually seeing all of these final evolutions just popping out of nowhere. So that's really exciting. And double candies is exciting, especially for me. I'm close to level 30 now. Um, let me know in the comments below what level you are in Pokemon Go, guys. But anyway, guys, this is one of the coolest updates so far. It's the first event from the team at Niantic. So this is exciting for me because I've been playing this game now. I'm at pretty much end game, nearly level 30, got pretty much all of the Pokemon in my region, so that's exciting guys, and Niantic are pushing a really cool event here. Um, also when you're walking your buddy, you now have a decreased amount of time before you get a candy, which means that you're getting more candies per K. So usually walking a 5k distance would yield one candy for the rarer Pokemon, but now you get a candy every 1.25k, so that means that you're getting quadruple the candies for the normal rate that you would be getting. Um, you also get uh, a candy every 0.75k for the 3k eggs, and every 0.25k for the 1k egg. Um, so when it comes to the 1k egg, Clefairy and Jigglypuff are perfect buddies. When it comes to the 3k egg, you definitely want the starters, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander, and also Grimer as well. I recently just got my Muck, which is really exciting. And then for the 5k egg, Dratini, Lapras, and Snorlax. These guys are killers for holding gyms and taking gyms, so guys, definitely prioritize your buddies here with this new update. But that is basically the entirety of this event. We get some really cool features. I love the double candies. Um, I love the decreased walking time for your buddy Pokemon. That's allowed me to actually get a Muck, and it's allowed me to get my Charizard and pump my Charizard a bit as well. And Charizard is my favorite Pokemon from the 151. So that is really exciting, guys. They've done a great job with this event. It's got a lot more people interested. I've noticed in my area there are more people playing again, and people are, I guess, a, a bit more excited about it. Even just transferring and gaining two candies got me excited. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below of this update. I'd love to know what kind of Pokemon you are catching. Uh, make sure to have an awesome week, an awesome Halloween, and I love you all. Peace out, guys.